Oh, we got another. What the heck? What the heck? Yosha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and I am here with a special pack opening today. If you are a returning member of the Joe Crew, thank you for your continued support. If this is your first time here and you like what you see, please take the time to hit that subscription button and that little ding dong bell down there. I started playing the Dragon Ball Super Card game at Comic-Con in 2018. There was one card that really, really got me into the game. Sun Goku, the height of mastery SPR. I wanted to pull that card so bad and I never pulled one from a box. But today we have Colossal Warfare. In these boxes, we have a chance of pulling a Height of Mastery Sun Goku SPR. There's also two really cool secret rares, the Migra Secret Rare and the Kid Goku Secret Rare. So either of those would be really cool. Let's get into the strip them and see what we can get in here. We have this Colossal Warfare booster box here. You can see it's got Goku. But let's see what's inside the box. All right. Uh, that was the box topper. I think this was the first set to have box toppers. Looks like this box is a little banged up. And, oh yeah, look at this. We got the baby box topper. Ooh, that is a, that is a big babby. Wow, they even did a nice job on the foiling on these. They didn't skimp on the, uh, they didn't just make them like a flat wave foil. They even have like texturing. That looks great. Nice big leader card. About the size of my hand. The blessing, the pack. This is the lesson of the blessing. Uh, dear pack, we bless them onto you. We hope you have the true power of the of the Goku within your uh, within your pack. If it is so true, we will find it unto you. And there is our blessing. We're just gonna get right into this. Look at those shiny cards. Let's see what we can pull. Ooh, okay, so this is the Height of Mastery SR. This is Sun Goku, the Height of Mastery, and this is the SR version. Also a great looking card. You get a really nice shot of Goku's armpit right here. He's got a real look of determination on his face. So that's a, that's a great looking card. We'll actually leave that one up since it's so good looking. This set also had parallel foils. There is a parallel foil we are looking for since we're playing Dark Broly now. It would be great to get great Gravi and Demigra's Thrall. Trip them. All right, next trip them. Swap target and uh, another rare. This is also was a really good card. This nail, I don't know if you guys remember nail, but Piccolo fuses with nail on the planet Namek. Uh, but this guy basically gets a 5k pump and draws you a card if there's somebody else on board. So pretty useful guy. Next trip them. And we got a. Oh yeah, I love the way this card looks. This card is so good looking. All right, we got another Goku in this box. This is Abrupt Breakthrough Sun Goku. I mean, this card is not so expensive, probably like 17 cents or something like that, but it looks so good. I, I really enjoy this card very much. Yeah, ooh, this is gonna be a leader. I saw the back of there and it's a baby leader. We got the big one of those. Oh, oh, Gravy Lightning's Might. Okay, so, you know, it's not the gra not the Gravy we're looking for, but yet a Gravy Parallel Foil. I think there was a general consensus that the uh, Shatter Foils weren't the wave. Oh, yeah, this card is sick. I think this card's really good. You, you know, it basically costs four energy. Since you play it for six, you get to untap two, and you get to uh, send a card back to your opponent's hand, so... Uh, you know, does a number of things, got barrier and double strike also. Good rule of thumb is if you count the number of things a card does, the more things it does, the better. And what is at the back of the pack? Oh, an SR Jiren. Yeah, this card's pretty sick. It's got quadruple strike and you can drop the cost of it if you have nine or more universe 11 in your drop area. So this set came out after uh, Tournament of Power. So there is some, there are some cards that support things that were happening in the Tournament of Power booster. If y'all don't know about that, Tournament of Power is the most sought after booster set of the Dragon Ball Super card game. Oh, we got another, what the heck? What the heck? We got two... Height of Mastery Son Goku SRs in one box? What? What? 
Oh my god! I've never pulled two of the same SRs in a box. I'm curious to see what's in this bless in the pack. I mean, I'd love to pull a, I'd love to pull a special rare from this box. I don't think it's guaranteed that you'll get one from these boxes. That's that same Goku we got. And a, ooh, special beam cannon parallel foil. This is a cool card. Uh, I, I really like the art on this card. I think it looks great. Piccolo's wonderful character, you know, Uncle Piccolo coming in. What are we gonna find in here? Oh, yo, Babby, big Babby Ape. That Babby Ape is looking to drop the ball. We got a baby pack, Babby pack here. Shrip them. And what are we looking at here? Oh, yo, slug. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it for the SRs. I don't think, I think we pulled five SRs. I'm pretty sure there's no more than that in a box. So, or we could get that Gravy. You know, looking for a little Gravy. Can we find it? Will it be there? Do we believe in the, oh, yo, this card is really good. There's a gnarly print line on this thing. Holy hexagon. I don't think I've ever seen a print line that serious on a card. Yikes. Got a couple more packs here. Can we find an SPR? Oh, whoa, another SR. Bad Rock, the progenitor of, the progenitor. Bad Rock and Progenitor. This card used to be crazy expensive because you could just play it over and over and over and take a bunch of life. Uh, you don't actually need a swap target for it, but that's six SRs in a box. That is pretty wild. Um, I could potentially see that card getting unbanned. It is banned right now, but may get unbanned, possibly. Bad Rock, what a dad. All right, another Bad Rock, double Bad Rocks. And a parallel foil, Goku's lineage support. Oh, it's nice. We got two more packs here for the Shrip'em. Are we gonna see an SPR in this? Oh, what the? We just pulled seven SRs out of a box. What? What the heck? This card looks awesome. I love uh, Tournament of Power. I think Kefla is such a cool character. I think they did such a nice job with the art on this card. And there was a really fun uh, Kefla leader. They printed support for it in the Ultimate Box. But I think this card just looks so good. Really, really, really nice. All right, here is our Bless in the Pack. So this is our final blessing. Will we see the card of choice from here as we show? And in this pack, we have a Demigra rare and no parallel foil. All right, so we didn't get an SPR in this box, but I feel like we can't really be that mad because we just pulled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven SRs. That's crazy, but really good looking cards. I mean, if this comes back into play, this is gonna have huge utility. If this card had a cheaper way to play it or is more effective, I mean, it's got deflect, it's got dual attack, and every time you swing with it, you gain 5k and draw a card. I mean, this card is nuts. Um, Haida Mastery Son Goku, just love this card. If, if this gets some support, this card is going to be value. You know, people are looking for the SPR. The SPR is hot cash right now. But a uh, great looking card. So I do have the card and I do have to show how great looking it is because we did make this video specifically to try and pull this card and I wanna share it with you guys because it's so beautiful. This is Haida Mastery Son Goku. I think this is the best looking card in the Dragon Ball Super card game. Many might argue with me about that, but this is the card that got me into the game. I think it just looks so good. The foiling looks so awesome. I mean, this was the real first really amazing uh, UI Son Goku card that they printed after after Awaken Power. So it's basically Awaken Power into this. And this also is an evolved target for Awaken Power. I used to play Yellow Broly with Haida Mastery Son Goku and Awaken Power. It was really fun playing my two favorite characters together in a deck. So if you guys do enjoy Dragon Ball and uh, you know you love the characters, it's definitely possible to try and figure out decks you can build with all your favorite characters. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Shrip'em. If you guys are new to the channel and you did have a great time, please hit that subscription button. If you are returning from the Jokery, I appreciate your continued support. Uh, and I can't end the episode without a dental tooth tip. Toothbrushing is best done twice a day, two minutes in the morning and two minutes at night. It is best to brush your teeth right before bed and not eat anything after that. And the reason why is you don't want any food sticking on your teeth overnight that 
get good track bacteria because the bacteria can digest the food, create acid, and break down your enamel and create cavities within your teeth. Uh, keep your teeth clean and healthy, guys. It's important because you only get one set. You basically get an S-Class Mercedes when you're 13 years old and you have to figure out how to drive it. I do have a clothing company that I run with my sidekick and partner, Joyza, Pants News, so you can check it out, uh, pantsnews.com or at pantsnews on Instagram. And check out my dental practice at dental.dmd on Instagram or just go to www.dental.com. Yes, I do have dental.com. And thanks for coming to watch my show, guys. I really appreciate your support, and I will see you next time.